guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is August 27th. <laughs> so, vlog, vlogus is almost over, but I'm going to show you guys some books today. Ugh. I have someone ask in the comments what amigurumi books I have and use. So, I wanted, I grabbed up all of mine, and I'm going to show you all the books I have, show you the ones that I used, and uh, tell you whether or not I liked them. And then I'm also going to try if I can find them all, because some of them are old. I will link them below in the description box if you want to check them out. But be sure to shop around. You know, I'll link from Amazon and maybe Thrift Books if I can find it. But sometimes you can find other websites that have better offers than another one. Or you can look at thrift stores. I get some at thrift stores. Or Dollar Tree sometimes has some. I looked today at my Dollar Tree and they didn't have any. <clears throat> but I got this big old stack here Ugh. of books. These are just my amigurumi pattern books. I have some other books that are, you know, for other things. But the first one is Whimsical Stitches. I got this one fairly recently, earlier this year, I think. And um, when I got it, it was pretty cheap on Amazon and we started sharing it, everybody. So a lot of people got it at the cheap price. It was like $9, I think, or $8. But then it went up because people were buying it. So I'm not sure what the price is now, but I'll link it below if you wanna check it out. This is a really awesome book. It's written by Lauren, uh, I think, Ip Ipsy. <laughs> um, and it's really great. It's got a lot of cute little uh, patterns in it. I've made a bunch of patterns out of here. I've made the cupcakes, both sizes, and I've made, what else did I make out of here? I know I made more out of here than the cupcakes. Uh, I think I made the jellyfish. I made some other ones. I can't even remember now. It's been a while, <laughs> but I really love this book. I got some patterns marked. Yeah, the jellyfish, the duck. I never did make the duck, but I've been wanting to make the duck. And I know I made cupcakes. Oh, and I made the little, um, the pumpkin pie. There's also a cherry pie. This is an awesome book. I, I definitely think this is worth buying because it's got a lot of cute amigurumis and they're easy patterns. Um, so this, I think this would be a pretty good beginner friendly one and definitely worth buying. I love it. The next one in my stack, let me find because I have more of these, is the Zumigurumi books. Now these, uh, I bought one of these. I can't remember which one I bought. I bought one and then two were gifted to me. I think I bought the one with the duck on it. Seven and the other two were gifted to me. I did make some things out of these. Now these books, these patterns are awesome. Zoomer Grammy books, always, I suggest you buy them. <laughs> They're really fun patterns. They're written re really well. And they come out medium to largest, largish size. They're not little tiny amigurumis. They're pretty good sized ones. I made, um, I made the single, I think it's in this one. Yeah, right here. I'll try to show it without showing the pattern. I made Scraps the Seagull. Uh, he's super cute. He sold, I actually sold him. He was one of the first things I sold. I think he was the first thing I sold at my craft fair I did last October. And I don't, I think that's all I made out of this book. There's a ton of cute. I want to make the chicken. Look at the chicken. It's so cute. <laughs> These ones do come out pretty good size. Um, they actually came out bigger than I thought they would. But that one's that one. I think it's got on the back. There's some that's in seven. A llama, a little hamster, the chicken, and then I also got five. This was gifted to me. It's got a bunch of cute animals in it. These, like I said, they're written really well. Definitely would suggest buying these if you want to. And this one was gifted to me if you want to um, make amigurumi. I actually did make this beaver. I made all his pieces. I never did sew them together and ended up frogging him just because I lost interest in it. So I technically made that, but I didn't. I know someone who made this uh, hummingbird and it came out large. Like, she was even surprised at how big it came out. But they're really cute patterns. <clears throat> this one was gifted to me, but it's one that can be found at Dollar Tree occasionally. The girl who gifted it to me ended up buying, I think, four copies. She gave me one, and then I gave away three. And uh, it was just a dollar at the time. But you can also find it on Thrift Books, I think, and Amazon. I'll link it below. And it's Happy Gurumi. I made the ladybug, the bee. I feel like I made something else. Did I make something else? I know I made the ladybug and the bee. I want to make the hot air balloon just because it's cute. And oh, I made the turtle. I did make one of the turtles. Is he on there? Yeah, he's right there. So I made three out of there. I want to make the hot air balloon because I think it's really cute. And the little frog is cute. And uh, someone made that recently. I can't remember who it was, but I seen it on someone's video recently. Very cute patterns. And like I said, when when she bought it for me, it was just a dollar. So. Um, if you look at Dollar Trees, if you have them near you, definitely check the book section because you might find a good book. This is totally worth buying too, I think, because uh, these patterns are really nice. They do come out kind of big. They're not little tiny amigurumis. They're pretty good sized amigurumis, but I think they're beginner friendly. These are all very easy. 
Uh, maybe the only ones that might be a little bit difficult would be the ones with mouths that are open because it's a technique, you know. But, I mean, you can always learn it. Very fun. Okay, this book I bought myself. I bought this, I think, at Michael's a couple years ago. And I only made one thing out of it. And the reason I only made one thing out of it is because the pattern... They're originally written, I think, in UK terms. And then they're translated to uh, English terms. <laughs> right here. I made the rabbit. We need the rabbit. <clears throat> I made it in pink and white and gray, but like variegated. And actually, the rabbit that I made at the craft fair, you every table donates an item to be auctioned off for them to raise money. And um, my bunny is what I put in that. <laughs> it was big. It came out huge. It was like over two feet tall. <clears throat> it, it was a good pattern and it came, made it on a cute bunny but there are some errors in their pattern uh, from where it got translated so like the arms was a little difficult to get the hands to come out the right way and uh, because of that I just haven't picked it back up I was kind of afraid the rest of the patterns might have issues but it is a nice book they do come out huge if you like big amigurumis and there are some really cute ones like there's a hippo but uh, just be warned if you do buy it that some of the in the translation got mixed up but I mean if you know how to do amigurumi you should be able to figure it out fairly easily but I mean I bought it uh, I kind of wish I hadn't bought it like if I'd known that I wasn't gonna use it as much I wouldn't have bought it but I have it so it's on hand I guess <clears throat> all right now this is one that I bought a couple weeks ago recently I haven't done anything out of it yet but I do have stuff that I want to make out of it and uh, it's super cute it's called hooked on amigurumi and it says it's got 40 fun patterns. This I bought in store at, no, it was Michael's. I bought it at Michael's um, in store. So I will try to find its link too. I'm sure there's, I'm sure I can find an Amazon link or something. But I want to make the little soy sauce, the milk, and the tea pot. <laughs> Probably the little turtle, because it's got a cute turtle too. Really cute little patterns. And it's got 40 in there. That's a lot of patterns. I think it was $21 when I bought it, but it was 30% off at the time. So, uh, I think it's good. And I haven't actually worked from it yet, so I can't really judge the patterns, but they're really cute, so. <laughs> All right, now this is a stack of books that I haven't, for, I for sure haven't worked out of. And it's just because of time. I'm pretty sure most of these are gifted to me, or um, I got them in Happy Mail, or I think I might have bought a couple of them. I don't know. But this is Amigurumi Monsters, and there is two or three of these books now. Uh, out and I've never made them personally, but I know someone who has made a ton of these monsters and hers always come out super cute And they're big hers come out big. I don't know if they're written to be big Maybe she changes the hook up But there are some really adorable monster patterns in here If you have any kid that loves monsters or you want to try to make them to sell them I think it would be a good book to purchase but again, I have actually worked from it. So I'm not sure <laughs> This one I think I did make something out of this Maybe I was planning on it and never did I don't think I have actually made anything out of this yet. I don't recognize anything. This is Unicorns, Dragons, and more Fantasy Amigurumi. There are now two of these. Well, the second one's coming out soon. It's got a unicorn on the front. I don't think it's pink. But uh, it's got a lot of cute patterns. I've seen people make this little guy and this little guy and the phoenix. And uh, they come out pretty good size, so I think that'd be good. I do want to work from this. I just, like I said, I haven't had really the time. I've just mostly been working on mindless stuff lately. Ah, so, see, this is the last book. This was gifted to me also fairly recently, and I've heard good things about this, um, these patterns. Oh, wait, I did make one of these. I did make something out here. I forgot about that. But it's Edward's Menagerie. <laughs> this is the original one. It says, over 40 soft and snuggly toy animals, crochet patterns, Carrie Lloyd. There are other ones, too. They have one that's like birds, and one I think is like sea creatures, and there's one where you build your own, like, alien type thing. And I did make the goat. My goat was a uh, darker color brown, I think. I don't think I ever showed it to you guys. I think I finished it and then immediately got rid of it. <laughs> uh, gave it to someone. But I did make that goat. And it was written really well. The thing that's kind of weird about it is each of these bodies in here have similar structure. So in the front of the book, they have, um, let me show you. They have standard forms and it has the, um, the body and the legs. I don't know if it has a head, but it has the increases for like the heads and the body. 
and then like in the pattern it'll say use the standard body pattern so you, you go back to this front front part and you use the body pattern and then you make the legs and then you just make a different head and ex, um, features so I thought that was kind of neat but it's also kind of annoying how to go back and forth but it's a pretty good book I like that a lot and they are really cute little animals make good baby gifts because a lot of people theme nurseries uh, babies now the rest of these are um, little like leisure arts, I think they're all leisure arts, booklets that I'm pretty sure I got gifted all of these. So that one's not really amma grooming, but this is a Christmas thread ornament, so it's made with thread and little hooks, <laughs> and uh, this was gifted to me. There is, that's kind of amma groomy-ish. I got this recently, I haven't made anything out of it because I don't have any thread, and um, I just haven't bought any, but you know I'm going to be making stuff out of this because they're super cute. There is one thing in here I definitely want to make. I'll probably make multiples of right here. And it's like a doorknob leaf. I don't know if they'd fit on our doorknobs though, but I'm sure I could alter them to fit. But I just thought that was so cute to make different colors and hang them on all of the doorknobs. So there's that one. And this is actually a monster one, but these ones look like they come out smaller than the monster book. Cute amigurumi monsters. And it's just got little monsters in it. Really cute. I haven't used anything from this again. <laughs> the ones I used was the first ones I showed you. This one I got, and I was super excited about this because it's got an eagle, and I'm super patriotic. <laughs> so I'm probably going to make the eagle eventually, and it's also a cardinal, and that's one of my favorite birds. So I'm probably going to make that eventually, too. Just, I haven't got around to it. This one is also leisure art, leisure arts, but it's called Spirit Animals. There's the cardinal on the bottom. And the eagle, and it's got other spirit animals in there. And it's got alterations to where you can make, like, lions or tigers. And there's, like, a falcon, too. This one isn't really amigurumis or their pillows, but I mean, they could be amigurumis. This was gifted to me too. And it's called Doorstop Critters. Well, I guess they're doorstops, but I mean, you know, if you put something heavy in it, it's a doorstop. If you don't, it's a pillow or a stuffed toy. But I love this chicken. There's a chicken with chicks, a sheep, a bear. And on the back, there's like a puppy, a bunny, a cat, and a mama pig feeding baby pigs. That's super cute. This is, this looks pretty old, like vintagey. I don't know what the year is on it. 93. So I was three years old when this came out. And the last one that I got, this was also gifted to me, I think, by the same person who gifted me this one. And it's called The Year of the Teddy Bears. And it's got a bunch of teddy bear patterns in it. It's a Leisure Arts uh, leaflet. So, and then in the back. Super duper cute. So yeah, that's all my Amigurumi books that I have. I'm pretty sure, unless I have one stuck somewhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've worked from probably half of them and I haven't gotten around to working with the other half, but I'm working on it. <laughs> and uh, I do love pattern books. I actually love working from a pattern book more than like from my phone or um, my laptop or something, just cause I like being able to have it like right beside me, not having to like deal with bringing it up on something. And pattern books are easy to take with you when you're going somewhere. Like when we go on trips, I always take some crochet with me if we're staying like overnight somewhere. Because when we're at the hotel after we're gonna do whatever we're doing, it's fun to just sit there and crochet. And uh, so I like I like having pattern books, real physical books. I'm a physical book person. <laughs> so um, yeah, these are all the ones I have. Someone, I can't remember who asked that, but they were curious to what books I had, so I shared it. And I will link below if I can find them. I might not be able to find links to these leisure art leaflets. But I might be able to look around on eBay or something, maybe, and find them. I'll do I'll do some digging, and I'll link it below if I can find them. Let me know in the comments below what books uh, you have, maybe out of these ones, which ones are your favorite. And uh, there's a couple coming out soon that I want. I want the second, um, this book, the second one. I think it's, it's like a pink color with a uh, unicorn on it. And um, it's a different unicorn than that one, though. Actually, it might not be a unicorn. It might be a pegasus or something. I can't remember. <laughs> and then there's another one. Uh, dang it, I done forgot again what it's called. I think it's called um, Amigurumi Cafe or Crochet Cafe or something like that. And it's a bunch of Amigurumi foods. I want that one really bad. I'm probably going to order that soon because it's really cute. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all my books. Uh, let me know in the comments what ones you're using and which ones are your favorite. Link, Leave links if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.